Okay, everybody. Let's just take a deep breath. Just center together. Be fully present together. In this YouTube universe. And talk about joy. Let's talk about joy and the our nervous system, our physical biology, our physical biological structure, and the capacity, the evolutionary capacity to contain, hold, and sustain joy in our bodies. Evolutionary, from an evolutionary perspective, historically, biologically, we're not used we're not used to the level of joy that is now able to move through these bodies so as we move into higher and higher levels of joy and ecstasy and bliss and it's like little tiny paths in our in our um, neural pathways in our nervous system, neurons in our heart, in our organs, liver, kidneys, etc. Our bones, the cells in our body, the, the, the very atoms, the very DNA of our structure. These little paths, they're only able to hold so much energy. But as we put ourselves more and more in the spaces, and this is my own experience I'm speaking from, in the spaces of, of incredible vibrational fields of joy and ecstasy and bliss, we continue to show up into those spaces. Physically, our body biologically evolves and adjusts to be able to hold these greater and greater levels of capacity for joy and bliss. So this is a this is not just a spiritual evolution. It's a physical evolution in accordance with the spiritual evolution. It's not just an evolution in consciousness. It's an evolution in the biology. So the biology, our biology, our physical biology is an expression, one expression, one part. There's many other parts that are not visible in the physical realm. But it's one expression of the evolution of our consciousness and as our consciousness evolves our physiology evolves to sustain and hold that consciousness and express that consciousness in the world so what's exciting that i'm seeing is this this evolutionary capacity of of, of the physical body to sustain and hold greater and greater levels of joy because we're not used to it as human beings you have to understand it's very scary to most people to experience joy it's just it's foreign it's like terrifying you know it's just something that's very unfamiliar and it's, it's so it's being able to embrace the unknown and move into this unknown space and then continue to show up so on a physical level that becomes the new space of conditioning and that becomes the new pattern that becomes what the body is used to and then when you walk into any space your body is ready for joy, it's ready for bliss, it's ready for ecstasy, it's ready to experience it because it's able to hold, it's evolved to hold that capacity. And there's no limit to that capacity. That capacity is infinite. It just expands. The more that we continue to show up with the intention to bring joy, peace, inner peace, and together, there's gotta be inner peace. There's gotta be a sense of a, a space of clarity, of openness, of spaciousness to hold this too. So there's gotta be a certain stillness and silence inside to bring this energy into the system and bring this energy into this dimension and bring this energy into the world. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't understand what I'm saying, just feel what I'm saying. Just feel the energy. Feel the vibration. So the final point is that how do you allow your system, your physical system to evolve so it's not afraid of joy, that it's able to hold joy and be comfortable and be at ease in a space of joy. How do you allow the physiology, the biology in your system, the nervous system is the key here, the nervous system, the neural system, to 
evolve and hold these greater and greater levels of energy that want to flow through the body and create through this system, this physical system? How do we allow it? The answer is to continually, with the intention, as often as possible, keep showing up. Keep showing up in spaces where there's super high vibration. And if there's individuals that you are aware of that hold that vibration, be in their presence as often as possible. If there's beautiful natural settings, beautiful um, environments that really feel super high vibration, you be in those spaces as often as possible. Gatherings are the key. Gatherings of people, community of people, um, retreats, workshops, spaces of, 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 that are holding space for high vibration and with high pure intention. Show up in those spaces as often as possible. And the others who, who are also feeling this call, this intention to evolve their, their physical capacities or systems, your body, the more you put yourself into those spaces on a daily basis, think of it like simple math. The more time in your day that you're doing what you love and loving what you do, your body adjusts physio physiologically, your body adjusts to hold those greater and greater capacities of love vibration, of higher consciousness and intelligence, of just pure, from the source, energy to flow through your system. And then we can say we're a clear channel unconditional channel in the moment for the pure source, creative source, creative impulse of spirit, of God to move through us in this moment, in each and every moment. All of us, reflections of that divine, infinite one bringing it into the world with our own individual expression of gifts, talents, and unique 